Okay, level zero. All right, right off the bat here. The way level generation works, you always get one virus of each color plus one virus of a random color. And so they spawn in groups of four. And that's true on later levels too, although it matters a lot less in later levels because the randomness sort of evens things out. But in the early levels, it pays to pay attention to which color you have double of. Since we have double red, that means we want to be really efficient with the way that we use red pills. Um, so clearing these is a priority. And the yellow one is also a priority because although it doesn't actually block our path to the red virus below it, um, it does make it harder to get there. Uh, so we want to get that out of the way so that we can drop onto this red virus from the top. That's the quickest way. We can build up from below, but it requires a bit more piece manipulation, which requires slowing down to move the pieces into place. One more quick thing that I would be noticing um, at the beginning of this level is that there are two viruses that are one space apart horizontally, this uh, yellow virus and this red virus. So that's a good opportunity to share a junk column here in the middle to save some time on drops. So we'll try to make that happen. OK, so here you can see a, we're starting to share the drop column here. If we can get this yellow virus cleared before the red one, then um, uh, the junk from this yellow virus will fall at the same time as the junk from the red one and uh, save us a little bit of time there. So we really don't want to clear this red virus even though we have a double red pill coming up. So we're going to put that double red pill underneath here in preparation for clearing the other red virus and hope that we can get rid of the yellow virus pretty quick here. Cool, we did it. We got a little bit lucky there. Okay, uh, right here we're about to do a technique that's super common, so you should be watching for it all the time. If we were to put this pill on top of the red virus here, the blue half would have to fall, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, five rows, at least. Uh, if we put it vertically, it would be even worse. Um, so we're going to put it underneath uh, and place it vertically, and that'll save us from the blue half from having to fall. Um, we got lucky on this stage because this virus was two rows from the bottom, so it's exactly the right height to do that. But you can also set this up yourself uh, in later stages just by um, building up a tower underneath things that you want to clear until you're two spaces away. So watch for opportunities to do that kind of thing. Now this is a really tough call. Um, you can see we have a double red pill coming up next, which means that if we use the blue half of this to clear the blue virus, we could finish this stage on the next pill. On the other hand, that would mean the red half of this pill would have to drop a whole bunch of rows. I don't know, maybe 10 rows or something. Um, and that's kind of unfortunate. So on the other hand, we could clear this red virus and only have to drop a little bit, but then we may have to wait a while for a blue um, pill. So I don't really know exactly what the right decision to make here is uh, in the game. I ended up deciding to clear the bottom thing, take my cheap fall time uh, where I can get it, and hope for some blue. I think that's a pretty reasonable default. Uh, since you want to be making decisions as quickly as possible, you can't always weigh them perfectly. So if you want to default, default to having a small drop time. And you can see here we got lucky. We just had to wait one pill to get our blue. OK, so that's the end of the level. Uh, since this is uh, level 0 and things go very quickly, I'll also add a little bit about um, going in between levels here, uh, some commentary about that. So for transitioning between levels, I normally just press and hold Start. That will clear this screen as quickly as it's possible to and get you to the next level. Um, 
some of the top players like to do a reset after every level as soon as they clear the level. That probably saves a few frames, but also very importantly, it gets you into a known uh, random number generator state. And so you can get a lot of practice playing the same level configurations over and over and over and know exactly what's important on each level. Um, for practice, I think it makes a lot of sense to just keep the RNG state going and, um, and get a feel for how the game plays. Although, uh, if you really want to be great, you'll probably want to start um, doing RNG manipulation. Seems the fastest ones right now are doing that. And if you look at the current world record by NRE8000, it is an absolute magnificent performance where he does a little bit of RNG manipulation right at the very beginning and then keeps that RNG state through the whole game and has carefully routed where every single pill is going to go. It is an unbelievable work of memory and um, excellent control of the pieces and I guarantee if you like Dr. Mario, you should go watch his video. It'll leave you breathless. Okay, let's see that in real time now. Uh, recall, red is our highest priority, yellow is next. We're going to try and clear this yellow before we clear the red on the bottom right. So we place this underneath. We get our lucky yellow clear. We're going to place this vertically to avoid drop time. Avoid drop time again by clearing the bottom one first and then finally the top guy. Okay, see you in level five.